Hey, it's Random Code here, and today we're going to create a Docker Compose setup where you can create a Postgres database in one container, a PG admin, so we're in another container to then access on localhost. And I already have a working Docker Compose file with all of this setup, which I will also leave in a gist with the link in the description. I will then showcase how we can start it up, and then inside PG admin, we can then connect to our Docker Postgres container by using the IP from the Postgres container, which we then access through like a simple command. But first, let's go through it. We have a simple Docker post with that version number. We have a few services. We have our DB and our PG admin. We then name our DB Postgres container, or PG admin, PG admin container, doesn't really matter much in this case. But our Postgres then built from a Postgres image, which is like main Postgres image on Docker Hub always restarts if it fails. We set some uh, environment variables which allow us to like access the database. So we have a Postgres user called root, Postgres password called root, and we create an empty Postgres database called testdb. And knowing a bit about Postgres, it has a basic port it's going to be exposing, which is port 5432. So we're just going to expose this port outwards as well because this is where PG admin would be looking. And then regarding PG admin, then once again have a name, it's building from a PG admin for image on Docker Hub, restart always, and we create a user on this PG admin dashboard, which we're actually gonna be using shortly to log in. And then gonna be exposing from port normally, so exposing to port 80 on localhost, or just port 80. And we're then gonna simply port forward this to port 5050, so in the end, we're going to be able to access our PG admin dashboard on port 5050. So I would just simply from the position of my Docker post file, right? And note, it's very important that the file is named docker-compose.yaml. YML. We can then simply do docker-compose. Oh. And this should then take a few, first time it's probably going to take like a few minutes. So I'm just going to wait for it to finish, then we're going to continue. And there we go. Our database is now ready and our PG admin application has been initialized. We are then able to go into a browser and if we then go to localhost port 5050, we should see this basic page for our PG admin. And we can then log in using our predefined email and password. So I will just simply copy. Like that. So now it's admin at admin.com and our password, which is just simply root and we should then be able to log in it might take a few seconds but we now see the pg admin dashboard and as we can see here we're logged in as admin admin.com as an internal user but for now there are no servers connected so we're actually not connected to our database and what we need to do is we need to open a new terminal we need to do docker container plus see just to ensure we have the containers running and as we can see here, we do. We would then simply look at our Postgres container. And let's just copy the ID and then do Docker inspect our container. And we then need to find the IP or so the IP address for our Postgres database container. And I then copy the IP, as we can see here, the IP address inside our PG admin. We then need to add a new server. We see here the dashboard front page. So I want us to add a new server. And we could, for example, just name it Postgres or PSDB in this case. And we then need to set a connection where for the host name, we need to add the IP. And for our user, we have defined inside our Docker Compose file that our user is going to be root and the password is also going to be root. You'd also set to like admin, whatever you want to do. But our password is going to be root and we need to change the user to be root as well otherwise the port is the same and maintenance database just keep both that's fine so we just in general need to set the name and the connection as the ip and of course our username and password if we then save this we should be able to see a postgres.tv server and inside this server we should have a few databases we should have the Postgres, which is like the, the maintenance database, and our test DB, which is the database we created ourselves 
through our dark post setup. And if we give it a few seconds to load, and clicking on it, we can see it's now loaded. We could then use a query tool by clicking here. And also, if we just took the schemas for now, it's going to be actually inside schema, inside tables, it's going to be empty. But just to ensure everything works, I quickly created a few lines of SQL, which we can just quickly try to ensure it works. So, for example, first I would create a table of users. We can create it. We can then select all the users. We can then see down here we have our user with an ID, username, power, and email. And we will then insert a user into this user table, select all the users, and here it is. And one thing to note, if we just went into like the, the area over here and now look at our tables, it won't be here yet because we actually need to click on the test TB and refresh it before we can actually now see our table. Like that. So this is how we can create and connect our Postgres database and MPG admin dashboard using Docker and Docker Post. If you enjoyed this quick showcase, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful day.